Welcome to another video training and in this training we're going to be setting up our PayPal payment gateway. So make sure you create a PayPal account to do this and uh, go ahead and click on payment settings after you've done that. Pause the video if you don't have an account, go create it. You're going to you need one to be able to set up a payment gateway. Click on payment settings. It should take you to a page that looks like this. If it doesn't, click on shop settings payments and you should see a page like this. Click on manage and it should take you to the pay, uh, PayPal settings for your site. And let's go through the options here. This has to be checked. This is the title of the check of the payment option. So obviously leave PayPal. I leave this as is. This is going to be the pay, the email address you made your PayPal account with. Leave this unchecked. We are not going to be using Sandbox because you'd have to sign up for a developer account. I don't want to make things too difficult. You don't need a Sandbox. If you need any testing, uh, you can test the site using your Stripe um, payment gateway. Leave this unchecked. Enable IPN notifications. Receiver email is basically if your main PayPal email differs from the PayPal email entered above, input your main receiver email for your PayPal account here. Um, this is probably going to be just add the same email that is up here and leave this uh, empty if you have this checked. Otherwise, follow the instructions that you see here and then just go to uh, profile, profile settings, my selling tools, website preferences and copy your identity token here. Um, this way you won't need to use this. But if you have this enabled, I mean, it's fine. This is the prefix on the invoices that clients will see when they get their receipts. So update that. In my case, it might be ORS. Um, leave this checked. Leave this unchecked. You want the payment. Usually you want the payment to come in and not have a simple authorize. Um, I don't, I just leave it on capture for now and then you can refund the client yeah, anyways. Leave this as is, and this you just add the URL of the logo so that when um, the, the PayPal page loads for payment, the, your logo will be there, but this is not necessary. Now we're going to go ahead and copy the API username, password, and signature so that PayPal can, you can start receiving PayPal payments right on your site. And PayPal also accepts credit cards, so either way, it's just uh, your choice if you want to use PayPal, Stripe, or both. So let's go ahead and go to our PayPal account, which I have opened right here. And you're not going to be seeing this once you've logged in. You, if you click on home, you will see something totally different. But you will see this navigation um, bar. Just click on activity, click on activity, go to API access, click on API access. You should see something like this. Scroll down to MVP SOAP API Integration Classic. Click on Manage API Credentials. You should see now a page that looks like this. Go ahead and click on Show, Show, Show. Copy the API username and paste it here. Paste the password here and paste the signature here. Once you're done, say Save. We are not going to be using a sandbox because that requires a developer account and that's going to make it too difficult. You don't need this. You can use a Stripe for testing payments to test the payment flow that's happening on your site. So that's basically it. Your site is good to go. You're ready to start accepting payments. And I'm really glad you got to this point. If you have any questions, um, always go to our Facebook group to ask them. Uh, thanks for following me up to this point. It Glad to be part of the of your of your journey. Cheers.